Welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, we're looking at some sort of samurai. But before we do that, roll those credits. Right, welcome back. Now this, is some sort of mechanical samurai. It's from, let me get this right, CA Sculpts. Um, and this is called For Glory. And it's 22.99 euros. Okay. Um, now this Patreon, they haven't got low, it's, sorry, it's not a Patreon. You can just go on there and pay and download each of the models. They've not got loads of models, maybe 10, but the ones they have got are Stunning. Now, this, this, although it's a great model, they're not cut and keyed brilliant. I'll tell you why. So, this prints in a few parts. The base is one part. The little temple is the second part. The samurai himself is one part apart from this arm and the swords, they print a separate. Then the ring of trees and like woodwork, that's supposed to be one piece. Now, what we did notice was when we started printing this, with the tree as one piece, we couldn't work out how you would get the samurai into this, because it's got a large key on the bottom, how you would actually get it into place. So what we did is we cut this ring in half now, when we printed this, the base, um, the temple, and the ring were printed on the Bamboo X1. The samurai, the swords, and the arm printed on the Frozen. And I've got to say, the samurai that came off the Frozen, it came out beautifully. Now, we will do a close-up in a minute on this because this is not usually our usual size. It's a bit smaller. Um, so we'll do a close-up so you can actually see it properly. Um, painting this. Painting this was complicated, is the way I'm going to put it. It's um, because so much of this is one piece, apart from the swords and the arms, um, Painting this took a lot of work deciding what parts you paint in what order. So I started off with a skin tone because it's where you're going to get the most overspray. Once I've done the skin tone, put a matte varnish over the top of that so that if I get anything on it, I can wipe it off. You're not going to damage your skin tone. It was then a case of then working out which part would be next in the process because when you paint something like this, it's done in layers. So you have to work out which are your bottom layers and which are your top layers so that you know if I paint this part first, all of them parts are going to be painted on top of that. So this was done in a mixture of brush and airbrush. Um, I also used the Vallejo masking. Um, paint so that when I was doing bits I was painting that on and masking it off so that I could airbrush it and not get overspray on stuff. Um, most of the paints on this was a real selection of paints. So there was a lot of Vallejo, um, a lot of Green Stuff Weld, a lot of Scale 75, some Army Painter, some Aclad paints. Um, I think that's covered most of it. What I tend to use now is, where I'm in my new workshop, I've got all of my paint kits right within reaching distance, which means I'm more likely to use them. In my old workshop, they was really up high, and I'd 
forget they was up there, to be honest, and I'd use other stuff. But now they're right next to me, I tend to pick them out. So, like, if I want golds, I've got a greens, uh, game, uh, green stuff weld gold kit, which is all different golds and stuff like that. Um, so I tend to use a lot of them um, packs now which makes for a massive mess on the desk because you end up with boxes everywhere and bottles everywhere. And once you've actually finished painting something, you then have to work out which bottles go back into which boxes. So once you've finished painting something, it's a good amount of work, just tidying back up again. Anyway, um, what I will say as well, the bamboo, the print quality that came out on this is stunning. And I'll argue that to look at, you wouldn't tell this was FDM. It's that good. It doesn't stand out from the Samurai, which was done on the Frozen. You don't look at that and go, resin and that FDM. When you look at the parts that were done on the bamboo, they are as good. I can't believe how well they came out. Um, couple of other bits about this which made it difficult to paint is the swords. Not that the swords were difficult to paint. Originally we put the, the model together. We left the arm off because it was easy for me to paint the arm and then fix that on after. But the swords, um, when you're lifting this up and down, putting it on the table, the swords broke off a couple of times on the glue, glue line. So in the end I just removed them permanently painted the swords, once the model was done, I fixed the swords, and there's a, um, uh, like a, ribbony thing that comes out of his hair. I suppose that's what it is. That was separate as well, that, and I glued that on once it was finished. Um, although we think it would have been ridiculously difficult to glue this on in place with this in one part, because, his head actually touches the top of it, almost, there's like one millimetre gap, but the key on the bottom of this was a good 20 mil. So I don't know how we would have done that without cutting this in half. Um, but once it's together, it's really quite strong. Um, and I've got to say it's one of my favourite things I've done so far, because it's, we do a lot of Marvel stuff here, we do a lot of DC stuff, and this is none of those. I'm not even sure if this is an actual thing from somewhere, or whether this is just a an STL that they designed. There is another one that goes with this, which is a woman, which, if you keep an eye on the channel, it's all going to be done on the Frozen. Um... So we'll be able to put a comparison side by side on this and see how well the bamboo actually did if we do the whole thing on Frozen. So that's one to look out for. A um, couple of bits of this I really like. This shoulder pad here, that was done in Atclad. Um, so you base it in a gloss black. You then airbrush. This was, colour was this? I think it was called dark chrome or something like that. Um, and then once that was dry, I then used a panel liner just to go in there to fill in all the swirls and stuff like that. Um, I do really love this, this shoulder poulter and I think it came out really nice. Um, let us know what you think. You're gonna see, be seeing a hell of a lot more of this printer because it's my baby and it's beautiful. Um, so keep an eye on the channel. We'll do some close-ups for you now.
Right, don't forget to keep an eye on the channel. We've got loads of stuff coming out. Got a weird printer coming out soon. Um, should be out relatively soon. We're working on testing and reviewing it at the moment. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.